we shall now take a look at an algorithm which is quite different or which requires a different approach from what we have been doing so far. So the problem which is given to us is it says write an algorithm to only print a message if a user guesses a lucky number which happens to be 100. So what he is trying to say here is the problem is trying to say the user is going to enter a number into a variable called as num or into a memory location called as num. Then after I read the number I need to check whether the number is equal to say 100. If the number is equal to 100 let's say that's your lottery number or lucky number then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the message congratulations you have guessed the lucky number and you win some award or so on. So far what we have done is we have taken problems where we did one step next step followed by the solution. Here I need to check whether the number is 100. So for the first time what I will be doing is I will be using an ability of computers to help me take decisions. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to ask the question if number is equal to 100 then what I will say is I'll say printf congratulations you have guessed the lucky number and you win an award or whatever it is. So first what I'm going to do is in order to solve this problem we are going to declare a variable called as num it is going to represent a memory location where a user is going to enter a number. So first step is let's assume we give the number an initial value of 0. Once we give an initial value of number as 0 the next step is in order to find if the input number is 100 I am going to ask the user to enter a number. So in order to read a number this is the step 3 and step 3 I am going to read a number from the keyboard which the user is going to enter. Now I need to make something called as a decision. I am going to use a simple if decision making statement which says if number is equal to 100 then print the message number you have guessed is 100 and you are right. So let's take a look at the logic. So here what I have done is in step number 3 I am introducing something new to you. I am introducing the if then and something called as a block. So if you see whatever is within this flower bracket is connected to this if. So if this if condition happens to be true then it is going to print the message you have guessed the lucky number and it's going to print congratulations and then come to stop. But let us say the user entered 25. Here 25 is equal to 100 the result is no or false then this condition is false so nothing will happen it will directly come and stop. So in order to understand how this works take a look at our test plan. Okay so what we are doing here is we are looking at step 1 number is 0. Okay in step number 2 I am going to read a number. Let's say I read a number 3 6. Alright now when I read the number 3 6 I am coming to step 3. If 36 here number will be replaced with 36. This is the equal to sign. 36 equal to 100 not true it is false. Then since this flower bracket is associated with if it will not go into this box it will directly come and stop. So output is you will get nothing will be displayed on the screen. Now let's do it once again. Second time in step number one number is zero. But now what I do is when I am reading a number let us say I enter the number as 100. Now when I come to step three if number is going to be replaced with 100 here. 100 is equal to 100? Absolutely true. Since this is true then it will come to then and whatever is in this flower bracket will get executed. So it will print the message you have guessed the lucky number followed by on the next line congratulations and then come to a stop. So in the second one you are going to have a message printed. Okay whatever is stated in this print is going to be printed. So I can use print, I can use write, I can use display, I can use show. So I hope this gives you an idea of how we take a simple decision in algorithms or algorithmic logic.
Now, this is really important because taking decisions and doing things again and again is actually a major strength of computers. So what I'm doing is this was an actual example of how to use the if. This is the skeleton or this is the general format of how the if then is supposed to look. So this is known as the syntax or the general format of the if construct or this is the first statement we are using to help us make decisions and change the flow of the program. Suppose number was 25 then the program would have flown in a different direction and come to stop. Suppose the program number was 100 the program would have gone to then and gone to this flow and then come to stop. That's why it's called as the control flow statement because you can change the path of execution of the code. So here let's do a comparison the way this skeleton matches this is like your a plus b the whole square in place of a and b in real life you can have 10 you can have 20 whatever it is but a and b represent some two numbers or two variables so if if you have to always have a round bracket then this can be some expression here i'm saying number is i'm checking if number is equal to 100 so the result of that will be either true or false or yes or no in this case first time it was false next time it was true only if it is true then it will execute zero or more statements so whatever are the instructions or statements within this flower bracket are going to be executed because this condition is true when the number was 25 since this condition was false none of these two statements got executed and it directly came to stop so please do understand this is the general syntax or the general format of the if statement or the if construct. So this is the first control flow statement I have explained.